One of New York City's largest shelter providers is buckling under the hundreds of migrants they're trying to house. It's a growing crisis with even more migrants on the way. All right, Fox 5, Sharon Crowley joins us now on what the organization is asking for from the city and the state. Sharon. Steve, these shelters are helping women and children who are seeking asylum, and they're almost at capacity. The families have some more extensive needs than other homeless New Yorkers, services that cost money. I spoke a short time ago with former city council speaker Christine Quinn about how she thinks the state and federal government can help. Busloads of asylum seekers still arriving here in New York City each week from border states. The newcomers taxing one of New York City's largest shelter provider, a nonprofit called Women in Need or WIN. Right now, WIN is helping 274 families seeking asylum, including 700 children. These women and kids need the basics, food, clothing, shelter, but they also have special requests for translators and mental health services. These families have suffered a level of trauma that is unthinkable to the average person. We need resources to give extra levels of mental health care. Former New York City Council Speaker Christine Quinn is president and CEO of WIN. We're not budgeted for this additional level of need these families have. And at WIN, we've spent a million dollars more than we're budgeted for. We will continue to do that, but we need more help from the federal government for reimbursement for those services. New York cannot take more. Mayor Eric Adams just returned from a trip to the border. Once again, he called on the federal government to provide New York City with more money to help these asylum seekers. The mayor estimates this crisis will cost the city $2 billion. We expect more from our national leaders to address this issue in a real way. Quinn agrees with the mayor that the feds need to give New York City more money, but she also wants more help from the state and the city since she expects more migrants will be coming in the weeks and months ahead. It's why we have to organize to get the federal government to give us more money and to get the state to give us more money because the state has never really given their fair share of funding for shelter and right now is the time for them to fix that. Well, we did reach out to the governor's office for comment but haven't heard back yet. A city hall spokesperson telling us tonight that the mayor has made reforms to cut red tape to move these families out of shelters into affordable housing as quickly as possible. Stephen Natasha. Very well, all right. Thanks, Sharon.